Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Today we're going to be talking about the L3 Plus and the L3 Plus Plus profitability. It's been a roller coaster these past few weeks or months. Um, you know, I've, I've had some doubts. I've debated on whether to unplug a couple of those or all of them while profitability was down. And we're just going to go over some numbers today and really make that decision together. So I don't know what you got going on at your uh, crazy town. Do you have a couple L3 pluses? Are you debating on shutting them down when profitability is that low? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, you know where that button is. Hit it. And any thumbs up, I sure, sure appreciate it. Definitely supports the channel. You know, it's, uh, it's sometimes you know, questionable on some of the things that I'm doing. And, and I wonder sometimes, and of course, those thumbs up, let me know that if I'm doing the right thing or if, uh, if you're doing the same. So I appreciate those. And we're almost at, I think, 600 subscribers. So keep hitting that button. It really helps. And I appreciate y'all. Well, let's talk about this. Uh, so we're going to look at the miner stat. Now, miner stat definitely has different numbers than other sites do. And I think that's just because they do the combination for the merge mining where other ones don't. Uh, the only other one that's really close is going to be the nice hash because they, um, they also show the numbers of merge mining. We're going to look at a couple of them. So if I do look at miner stat, you know, it does show profitability at $1.64 for Litecoin and Doge. Now, I will say this this just came up. Yesterday, I had done the same exact video that I'm doing now, and it was at $0.24 cents profitability. Not that exciting. Uh, today, it's up, and the prices are up. So, it's, it's a roller coaster, like I said. There's really not much more to say about that. It's been crazy, but the problem is that, you know, when, when, when profitability is that low, and, you know, let me bring a calculator into this here. We'll just do a quick uh, couple numbers. And let's say I'm profiting, you know, uh, whatever I think it was. I think it was around 24 cents the other day uh, times 30. You know, yeah, $7, seven seven dollars seven seven twenty a month in profitability. So you'd say, all right, well, it's still 7 bucks. It's still profitable. Except the problem is that when you factor in the amount of electricity, now for me in my situation, of course, this isn't financial advice, anything in the video. This is just me talking about my situation. You always do what's best for your pocket or pocketbook. But from my pocket, um, when, I'm, when I'm mining and I'm paying the electric out of my pocket because I've been taking a lot of the coins that I get from Doge and Litecoin, and I've stacked some of the Litecoin. I've been keeping on to that. But I'd say about 50% of the Litecoin and all of the Dogecoin, I've been moving off into some other altcoins and just sort of stacking them up. Um, I talked about it in my last video when I was doing some spec mining. You know, it's it's really like that scratch off lottery ticket, to be honest. You know, it's uh, I probably grab one or two of them a month. You know, those five dollar ones. Um, if I even grab two a month, that's. But you know what it is. I'm sitting in the car, just about to go into work, and I scratch it off, and I say, "Do I have to go to work today?" <laughs> and it's it's just a quick, you know, two minutes of dreaming. And then reality sets in and I get out of the car and I go into work. And I tell you the truth, that's a lot of this spec uh, mining that I do for a couple different coins. And, um, and to be honest, that's what I do with a lot of that Dogecoin. You know, will Dogecoin jump back up? Probably it'll go back up. But, you know, will it go back up like it did before? So I take that and I slap, you know, toss it into some other, you know, I mean, I don't want to call it, but we'll call them uh, crap coins. How about that? I don't know if I'm about to say crap better than the other one anyway um you know and that's really it in a nutshell so ultimately what i'm doing is i'm taking the money out of my pocket now if we take into consideration for say electric at 226 um and we times that by the six that i have running now i do have two more uh so let's just say the six for now because that's what i have and we times that out by 30 <clears throat> so around $400 a month. So every month I take $400 out of my own pocket and I pay the electric for this. And, um, and I look at it that is almost like if I was taking $400 a month and investing it in these altcoins. Would it be easier just to take 400 bucks and stick it in some altcoins and not have to worry about this? Because you know, even though I am getting a little bit more with the profitability, to uh, swap those coins over, especially if they are on the ERC-20, uh, it's going to cost, well, you know what it costs, cost an arm and a leg. 
Um, now, if I happen to find something on Avalanche or Binance, you know, uh, then of course it's a lot easier and not a part of a pill to swallow because of how inexpensive gas fees are over there. But if I want to do anything on the Ethereum uh, network, it, it costs me more to swap the coin than I'm actually making. So actually, I uh, instead of seven dollars, it really probably costs like ten or twelve dollars, and you know, I'm I'm already negative for the month, so it's at a loss. So is it is it better just to take four hundred bucks a month and just buy a couple coins? It's not as fun. I'll tell you that. That's going to be for sure because I am having a lot more fun doing it the way that I'm doing it. Um, but, you know, I don't know if if in the end, which is which is the better way. Um, obviously, just putting 400 bucks a month in is probably the better way because of all the headaches of dealing with the heat, dealing with the noise, you know, dealing with ridiculous gas fees. You know, um, you know I got all those coolers out in the garage. I still have to uh, fit those for the L3 Pluses. And like I said, I've debated shutting them off because the other day when, when I was looking at the, pro the numbers at 24 cents a day profit, uh, you know, when like I said, when you minus out gas fees, that's really not going to do it. Uh, so let's look over here at ASIC minor value, as you can see right now. I mean, 75 cents, they're calling for this one. And that's something else that I really need to do while the market is fluctuating. And it is a little bit of a pain too. And that's something that also I have to throw in there, the factor of, you know, some days when the market is, is you know, pumping, you, uh, you're going to want to increase let's say your 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 you know your hash rate you're going to want to increase uh how how much you're mining and then when the price comes down perhaps you roll that back a little bit to get even more efficient so you're you know you're you're using less electric and just getting the the most obviously the most efficient uh profitabilities that you can so you know when the market was banging you know, yeah, I was burning a little extra electric, but I was really just trying to get as much as I could while it was going high. And for instance, like today, it is, it's jumped up um, quite a little bit from yesterday. Uh, let's look over here. If I just check out, I put in my numbers, I'm running on 620, and I'm running about a thousand watts, uh, just shy of a thousand watts, but let's just round it up to make it easy. And here, see here, they don't do the merge mining. They won't tell you that here. But even, you know, nice ash, it's, it's calling for 66 cents a day profit. Now a 66 cents a day profit worth fighting the heat, fighting the noise, fighting the gas fees, you know, always having to swap and make sure that I transfer that. If I transfer it and then use that money, I got to pay taxes on that money as well. Uh, don't try to get around Uncle Sam because he'll get you, he'll get you, or maybe not. <laughs> But the point is, is that, you know, is it worth it? And I had somebody mention to me that they were actually shutting off a couple of theirs because uh, they were fighting heat actually right now and they haven't come up with a solution. So instead of dealing with extra heat and just, they were like, forget it, I'm just going to shut down a couple of them. So, you know, that's a, that's a thought also. Now, if we look over um, at difficulty and let's look at Litecoin. As you can see, Litecoin's actually been going up. This is because of the uh, with the new miners um, that came out. I think that was the L, where are they? The L7s. And yeah, those L7s are doing amazing. Look, Jesus, I wish I had one of those. Don't we all wish we had five of them? <laughs> 40 bucks a day. You know, that thing sold for 10 grand when it first came out. And now... People got them up for like $25,000. I mean, and, and, and I'll tell you, well, is it a ridiculous, it's, it's, a, it's an insulting price, but you know what? People are buying them because they wouldn't be selling them at that price if they weren't. Um, and at 40, almost $41, you know, depending on which model you have, uh, 40 bucks a day, that's, that's not bad at all. But that's why we're not seeing Litecoin really drop off. You know, with these L3s, we're gonna see some drop off because people, that are debating, like myself, whether to shut them down or not, um, you know, those would drop that difficulty down. But because of these L7s, it's only pushing it up. 
and we look over at Dogecoin, same idea. Dogecoin is still gradually moving up. It's because of the L7s. Now, I will tell you that there is one other option, and it's because when I was looking over here, there is, for several days, uh, Digibyte and Doge was more profitable um, than, the, uh, than the Litecoin and Dogecoin, which was something I didn't like to see because I do enjoy mining Litecoin. I do like to support... Uh, that project, I think it's it, it's a it's it's a great coin, um, but but to be you know when when we're looking at this these times when when prices are down, excuse me, and you know you kind of have to do what you got to do to get through. Uh, I I was looking at the Digibyte, so when I started looking at that one, we take a peek over there as well. You can see that one did start to slide down a little bit. What is that at 87 now? Let's find a little bit of a lower point. Up, down from 115 to 87. So the idea is that when the difficulty goes down, you'll mine more coin uh, or token, um, depending on which one you're doing, like uh, Dogecoin. You know, that one's still, like I said, going up. But here with Digibyte, it's been going down. So you mine more. Uh, when the difficulty is down. Now, it hasn't come down a, a tremendous amount, but it has. And that might be an option because, you know, again, I'm not looking to cash out all of this stuff all the time. I do want to keep some of it. And this might be an opportunity to mine this particular coin and maybe stack it a little bit, you know. Uh, but nonetheless, in the end of the day, I have to spend my money out of my pocket and is it worth the $400 or $500, you know, um, depending, you know, on which side to go with. Do I, do I uh, just put 400 bucks in or do I mine and go through all the, uh, you know, the heat, the fan, you know, the, the noise, the gas fees, the swapping, and then I got to claim that. And that's a big factor too. Again, not financial advice. You got to do what you do. But when you claim any money, you know, you have to report that. So I'm claiming money. Now, of course, I guess in the end, you could probably write that off because it is an expense for what you're doing. But that's only if you're having it uh, under the umbrella of, say, like a business, an LLC or or some sort of corporation uh, that you have the business in. Then you may be able to write that off for tax um, because it's for the business and it's for the power. But the way that I am right now, I, I don't have this set up as a business because I'm really not taking money out. I've been paying it with my own pocket. But it gets to a point where, you know, I'm not getting much, at least when I had some profit I felt more comfortable doing this because it was like you know well I was making an extra you know hundred bucks a, a month on one machine and I'm thinking okay well if I'm making an extra hundred bucks well then it felt better than just putting every penny I had away I could have that extra hundred bucks to put towards other coins or whatever I wanted to do with it now with it down so low you know you think about it and you're not sure so it's, it's, it's questionable, you know, when we come over here, we'll take a look at Dogecoin, where are we at? 11 and a half cents, um, you know, let's, let's pull that out 30 days. And it has just been gradually going down, uh, you know, 15 cents was, was reasonable. 20 cents is where, you know, I'd like it to hell. Of course, I'd love it to be 40 cents, you know, but, but if I can, if I if I had Dogecoin at 20 cents, I would be very comfortable uh, with this and I would have no problems. Uh, of course, a lot of us would have no problems, <laughs> but the truth is, is that it's down and at 11 and a half cents, um, that's not, that's not, you know, where you want to see it. And let's check out Litecoin also, uh, really hurting at 109. Let's pull that out for 30 days. Let's take a look. Is it, is it kind of just really going sideways to be honest? Uh, let's go 90 days out. You know, we've had these uh, peaks and valleys, uh, but but when you look at 90 days, you really start to see it going down more. You see that trend downward. And, um, you know, we have had these bumps, but, man, 160. I would love to see Litecoin at around 200 plus. You know, over here, we, we jumped up. I mean, that was crazy. What was that, 279? But, you know... If we can get it around the 200 mark, I think that's a really uh, a great number to be at as well. Look, I'll take 150 on this one as well. Um, but right now at 109, 
it's down. So it's profit, profits are down. So, you know, I really love to know what you're doing. I'd love to see that in the comments down below. Are you shutting down any of yours? Because I'll tell you what, I made this video yesterday and during the video, when I was talking about it, I was saying how I've been debating on doing this, but I'll tell you what I did today. Um, I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep everything running. I'm going to keep pushing forward. Um, I hope my wife isn't watching this video because I kind of hinted that I might shut some of them off and she was smiling. But I'm not going to. I'm going to keep them going. And as a matter of fact, uh, I know I bought, uh, I got two uh, Z11s on the way. So I have that Z9 down there and you know, I run that thing. I run that one at a loss just because I'm supporting the chain with that one. And I do, uh, I do appreciate the uh, Z9. It will. I think it's really kind of one of my first miners, so I, I keep it running. Um, but uh, I do I do have two Z11s coming, and they are on their way. They should be here in the next uh, couple days. Hopefully, they come in in good shape. But, you know, once I get the other ones up and running, and uh, I messed around with that T17 last night, I had that one going. One of the boards is still not working, even though I had all of them fixed. That one board is still not working. The other two seem to be working actually pretty well. So if I can just get that one other board uh, squared away, that uh, that T17 is in pretty decent shape. So, you know, overall, uh, summertime's coming, and I have to start gearing up for that because with that heat out in Crazy Town, and you know I got the vent up there. You saw that video. I'm sure if you, you haven't, you're going to check that out next. Uh, and the vent is working, but I do need some sort of return where um, it's exhausting out but it's pulling the air out of the room, but there's not enough air coming in the room. So it doesn't really make that, that rotation of air uh, that I'm looking for. So I'm going to need to do something more in there. I do have all the coolers to put all those L3s in. So I need to go ahead and finish those up this weekend and get that done. The problem was that I needed the duct hose uh, to finish that one. I didn't want to buy more because I know I'm changing the duct uh, hosing in here for the, uh, uh, the grow tent because it's um, the one that I got is not insulated enough. And now that summer's coming, uh, I can feel the heat coming out of this. And during the winter, I didn't mind it because it made this room a little warmer. Uh, but now it's not, it's, it's actually gonna be too warm. So I'm gonna pull this duct hose out of here. I got the new stuff that I'm gonna use over there just came in the mail. So that's this weekend also. I'm gonna swap that out. I'll get this duct hose. I'll bring that downstairs. I'll cut open those coolers. This is what I'm talking about. Is the profitability really worth it? You know what? You're damn right it is. I'm going to keep moving with this one and the project's going to continue on. And I hope you're doing the same thing. And if you're not, tell me why you're not doing it because I'd love to know about that too. You know, and you know what I got going on in Crazy Town. So I had someone the other day give me a little comment about moving some stuff around. They thought I should move everything lower on the shelves to gain some of that cooler air. Uh, and I haven't gotten back to him in a response that I'm going to, but I will tell him here that the problem is that out there with those, that whole garage gets hot whether it's on the top bottom if i suspend them from the ceiling or if i stick them on the floor um i've i've taken the the um the temperature uh sensor that i have out there the little uh, thermo digital uh, thermometer and i've moved it around that room to see if there were any spots that were going to be better than any other and i'll tell you what the whole place is like a sauna so it's it's not going to really matter much there unfortunately and i appreciate the comment though that really it means a lot when people can contribute to what I'm working on because I can use some suggestions too. It's been a challenge out there, but I think I'm gonna end up having to put another vent up on that wall. And, um, and when I get that one, I'll have one pulling and one pushing, and that will create that, that, you know, that airflow in there. I think that's gonna help a lot. So again, I gotta drop another, what, 200 bucks? I forgot what it even cost me, probably 150, 200 bucks to drop that on the side of the house. You know, and the coolers and the duct and everything else that you add up um, and the time. And I'll tell you what, it doesn't always put me in the best graces with the wife because uh, she doesn't appreciate the heat and she doesn't appreciate the noise. Uh, so it's, you know, it's been challenging. So give me a couple of those and, you know, <laughs> let me know you're behind me on this project. If I had a bunch of those thumbs up on this video, I could show my wife and be like, but honey, look, you know, my people, this is what they want. I don't know if that's going to matter. Maybe next video I'll come over here and I'll have a black eye. I don't know. 
But look, the bottom line is that I'm not stopping. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep pushing. And yesterday when I was looking at these numbers, I was really down and out and I was really debating on it. And I slept on it and I woke up and before I even saw that the price jumped up a little bit and profitability was a little better today, I woke up this morning and I knew I was gonna come in here and make a video and just wipe out that other video and just say, you know what, I am in. I'm driving the bus and we're going to the wheels fall off. Are you on board with me? Cause you're going to strap in for this one. I'm not going to stop. I hope you aren't either. You know, we're going to stack some coins. We're going to wait for this market to come back because I'll tell you what, this market isn't down as far as it could be down. You know, when you look at the, uh, the market two years ago, three years ago, when these machines were selling for 40, 50, 60 bucks, these things were paperweights. These things were used as doorstops you know, the, the L3 pluses and L3 plus pluses, they weren't worth spit. And I'll tell you what, when, when the market came back up, there was L3 pluses were selling for what they were going for, uh, what 11, like, you know, 1100, 1200 bucks, 1300 bucks. Those L3 plus pluses were going for 16, 17, 18, $2,000, you know? Um, I mean, crazy money. Now I've seen them on there. I saw one the other day that sold, it was for, uh, around 800 bucks or 700 and or i see one still bidding it had a little time left it was in the 700s i don't know what it finally sold for but you know when it's down i'll tell you what if it drops down if these things get low enough and the market stays down long enough uh, and these things drop down if i can get these for a couple hundred bucks if i could pick them up for 300 bucks you know what i would i would buy like 10 more of them i don't want my wife to hear me it's i'm whispering right now but i'd get like 10 more of them if i could and uh and that'd be it and it'd be party time, you know? I probably wouldn't be living here anymore because I'd be kicked out, but... <laughs> but hey, you know, you do what you got to do. Don't get kicked out of your house. Don't listen to me, all right? I'm just some crazy guy on the internet. But look, you know, the prices, they're everywhere. Um, right now, uh, you know, I mean, really, truly, if it really is a buck sixty-four a day... Uh, you know, uh, that would be, that would be, that would be reasonable. You know, I wouldn't mind that. Um, but you know, uh, who knows now, if you did want to do the Digibyte and the Dogecoin, you will come over here, uh, to the mining pool stats website. And if you go to Digibyte right here, there is one pool that does merge mine that that's the Dutch, Dutch mining. And if you go to that one, it does offer a couple different options for coins to merge mine with uh, Digibyte. Matter of fact, we'll uh, click on that one. You can see right here, you can do Dogecoin, you can do, what is that, Dingo, and you can do NYC. You can also do, what is this one? What is that, VD, uh, VDC? All right, so there are a couple other coins that you can merge mine with. Um, the profitability for the other ones aren't listed uh, here. So they only have uh, Digibyte with Dogecoin. So I'm not sure what the profitability is. You have to look up the other ones and see where they're really at to see how profitable that might be. Maybe that's an answer, you know? Maybe uh, mining over there and then swapping that coin out if it's if it's that much higher. I haven't looked those up. Like I said, I've debated on doing the Digibyte. I haven't done it yet. Uh, but maybe that's going to be an option if things get a little bit lower. Uh, but anyway, y'all, I really appreciate you checking in. This is just a little update on the L3s, profitability and so on. I am going to keep mine running. Uh, like I said, I'd love to see in the comments down below what you're doing. You know, I've been begging for those. So you hit me a couple times with them. Let me know I'm doing the right thing. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate every one of you. And let's hit that 600 subscriber mark. We're so close. All right. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you all next time.